colors sure faded fast. Hello, my name is Kat, and today I will be sharing with you guys my top 15 favorite series and trilogies. So last month I made a video recommending books by my favorite authors, and this month I'm going to be recommending to you guys my favorite series and trilogies. I have 15 series and trilogies to share with you today. I tried to do a top 10, but that proved to be way too difficult, so I have 15. And they are divided into three categories. So let's start with the first category. These five series are kind of bigger and more popular series that I probably shouldn't have to recommend to you because you've already read them, and if you haven't read them, then you really should, because they are popular for a reason. They're very good. Let's begin now. Oh, I'm not strong enough for this. Oh, I'm definitely not strong enough for this. First, I have the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. Who's surprised? Not one of you. A lot of you guys were surprised that I did not mention J.K. Rowling in my favorite authors video, but I mean, come on, it's J.K. Rowling. Like, she's in a whole nother category of amazing all by herself. This series has probably had the most impact on me than any other series that I've read, mostly because I grew up with Harry Potter. I was 10 years old when the first book was released, and I just, this series made me fall in love with reading. So thank you Harry Potter and JK Rowling. I would not be here today if it weren't for you. I mean here on like YouTube talking about books, I don't mean like alive. The next series on my list is the Hunger Games Trilogy by Suzanne Collins. I actually stayed away from this series in the beginning. There was a lot of hype around the Hunger Games and I just kind of avoided all of that. It wasn't until Catching Fire was already released that I started the series, but oh my goodness, I loved it. I read the Hunger Games in one sitting straight through and then I immediately picked up Catching Fire. And sometime the next day after finishing Catching Fire, I started reading The Hunger Games again because that's how much I loved it. You know who I haven't mentioned in a couple days? William Herondale. So let's talk about him now. The Infernal Devices Trilogy by Cassandra Clare. A lot of you guys were also kind of scandalized that I did not include Cassandra Clare in my video of favorite authors. However, I have only completed this trilogy by Cassandra Clare. I've only read book one of The Mortal Instruments, so I can't really consider her one of my favorite authors because I haven't read the majority of her books. But this trilogy I love a lot. You guys know this. I've been talking about this trilogy since I finished it, pretty much, because it was just so good. I love this Shadowhunter world that Cassandra Clare has created, and I now know that I need to read the Mortal Instrument series immediately, because if it's half as good as this one, then it's going to be amazing, and I'm really looking forward to getting into the rest of Cassandra Clare's book. Next, I have another somewhat recent addition to my favorite series list, and that is Percy Jackson and the Olympians by Rick Riordan. I just recently got into the series and oh my goodness, I love it so much. It's so fun and entertaining and there's so much action and humor. It is a little bit younger feeling than most of the young adult stuff that I read. I mean, this is technically middle grade, so there's that. But oh my goodness, it's so good. Now, some of you might not agree with this next series being on my list, but it is. So let's move on to The Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer. Oh, Twilight, you are a series that is very controversial. You know, obviously this series has some flaws, but there's also something so fun and addicting about this series. And the first time I read it, before I heard any negative reviews or critiques or anything, I really, really loved it. So I'm not going to let other people's hate change my opinion of something that I once loved. Even though I have since read much better books, I still have a place in my heart for Twilight. Gotta admit it. Okay, those are the first five, the kind of more popular, well-known series that I really love. 
And now let's move on to the next category on my list, which is complete trilogies that I really, really love. First up, I have The Uglies Trilogy by Scott Westerfeld. I love this trilogy so much. Scott Westerfeld is one of my favorite authors. This trilogy was one of the first dystopians that I really got into and really enjoyed. There's so much cool technology and the world is very, very interesting and there's a lot of action. It's just, it's a very entertaining entertaining series and I love it. You should check it out if you like dystopian and sci-fi stuff. You might like the series. Next I have The Unearthly Trilogy by Cynthia Hand. It's very well written and there's a very conflicting love triangle and the characters are just wonderful all around. I haven't read a ton of the angel books that are out there currently but this one is definitely my favorite. Not enough people have read this series so if you're one of them you should read it and then we can talk about how awesome it is. Sound good? The next complete trilogy that I love a lot is White Cat. I've already mentioned this one a couple times in other videos because I really love it. I love the sort of alternate magical world of the series, I love the characters, and I love the writing. It's just overall a wonderful series and my only real complaint about this series is the amount of cover changes they went through. Every single book had a new cover. Like, that's kind of frustrating. The next the next complete trilogy that I really, really love is the Hex Hall Trilogy by Rachel Hawkins. This is such a fun and hilarious trilogy. The main character, Sophie, is so funny. I love funny books, and these books are definitely funny, but they also have, like, scary moments and moments of action, and overall just a very enjoyable trilogy. Finally, on my list of completed trilogies I love, I have the Across the Universe Trilogy by Beth Revis with the most frustrating cover change in all of young adult literature. Maybe that's an exaggeration, but maybe not. I really, really enjoyed this trilogy. I love the whole concept. I love the first book where we get introduced to the world. I love the kind of political, moral conflicts of the second book. And the third book, was just amazing. I had no idea what to expect and therefore I was completely blown away by what happened. So those are the five books from my favorite completed trilogies category. So let's move on to the final category which is trilogies and series that are not complete but that I really am desperately impatiently waiting for. First up a trilogy that I'm sure is on many people's lists the Divergent Trilogy. I loved Divergent so much. I'm so excited to finish this trilogy. The third and final book has a title, Allegiant, but not a cover yet, so hopefully we'll get that soon. And I swear, if they change the cover style, I will kill them all. Just kidding. Interjection from the future! So, I filmed that part yesterday, and naturally, this morning, the Allegiant cover was released. So, the Allegiant cover, it looks like that. It does match. I'm very excited. I don't have to kill anyone. This is just good news for everyone. But yeah, this is such a wonderful dystopian trilogy. The world is so interesting, and the characters are fantastic, and the writing is so good, and it's just exciting and action-y, and I can't wait for the third book. Like, I need it now. Then I have the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lu. I read both Legend and Prodigy earlier this year and they are some of my favorite books that I have read this year. And the third book comes out in November, it's called Champion, it has a cover, and I am just dying of anticipation to get my little hands all over it and devour it in a single sitting like I did with these books. Next series on this list is the Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Meyer. Cinder and Scarlet are the only two books out right now. There are two more books in the series and I am just dying waiting for them. Just like Legend and Prodigy, I read these two books earlier in the year and they quickly became some of my favorites of the year so far. I love, love, love this sci-fi fairy tale retelling series and I am so excited for the other two books. I I just, I don't know what's going to happen in them and I'm very nervous for all of these characters that I'm growing attached to and I just, I really want everything to turn out okay and I hope we get our happily ever after. I think we will. I hope so. 
I hope so. The next incomplete trilogy that I am loving so far and really, really need the final book to happen soon is the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor. Lainey Taylor's writing is just so beautiful and vivid and gorgeous and I just want to swim in her words and more than the words, this story, this series, this world, these characters are spectacular and amazing. Daughter of Smoke and Bone is one of my favorite books of all time. I love it that much. And the third and final book in the trilogy comes out soonish, I think, next year, early, early 2014. I don't know. It's not soon enough. That's my point. It's not soon enough. It's never soon enough. Unless it was already in my hands. And finally, the last trilogy that is incomplete but that I am very, very excited about finishing is The Darkest Minds Trilogy by Alexandra Bracken. This book is currently the only one out in the trilogy. Book number two is called Never Fade. It does not yet have a cover that I know of, but it is coming out in November, so I'm really, really excited to get my hands on book two. Mostly because I really, really loved book one. The characters are fantastic, the world is fantastic, and I'm just so excited about where this series is going. This book hasn't been out that long, but if you haven't read it, you really, really should, because I think that this trilogy is going to be amazing and this is just the beginning. So read this book now and prepare yourself for book two in November and then we can all experience the agonizing wait for book three together. Like, comrades. That would be cool. Alright, that is everything. Those are my current top 15 favorite series and trilogies. That is everything I have for this video today, so thank you very much for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will have another video up soon, so I will see you then. Goodbye!